June 6th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 46 and 47 from the Old Testament. God is our strong refuge. He is truly our helper in times of trouble. For this reason, we do not fear when the earth shakes and the mountains tumble into the depths of the sea, when its waves crash and foam and the mountains shake before the surging sea. Selah. The river's channels bring joy to the city of God, the special holy dwelling place of the Sovereign One. God lives within it. It cannot be moved. God rescues it at the break of dawn. Nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms are overthrown. God gives a shout. The earth dissolves. The Lord who commands armies is on our side. The God of Jacob is our protector. Selah. Come, witness the exploits of the Lord, who brings devastation to the earth. He brings an end to wars throughout the earth. He shatters the bow and breaks the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Stop your striving and recognize that I am God. I will be exalted over the nations. I will be exalted over the earth. The Lord who commands armies is on our side. The God of Jacob is our protector. Selah. All you nations, clap your hands, shout out to God in celebration, for the Sovereign Lord is awe-inspiring. He is the great King who rules the whole earth. He subdued nations beneath us and countries under our feet. He picked out for us a special land to be a source of pride for Jacob, whom he loves. Selah. God has ascended his throne amid loud shouts. The Lord has ascended his throne amid the blaring of ram's horns. Sing to God, sing. Sing to our King, sing. For God is King of the whole earth. Sing a well-written song. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble, along with the people of the God of Abraham. For God has authority over the rulers of the earth. He is highly exalted. God, I shout my praises to you. You who are the ruler of my world as well as the entire world, the entire universe. I think of those future times when everyone will bow down to you. Everyone will call out your name. I so wish that that could happen right now. That everybody could understand your grace, your mercy, your love for us, your incredible forgiveness. My heart breaks watching people who don't take the time to get to know you, whose first reaction is to push you away. And perhaps they've had situations with a church or with religion or something else has happened to them that has caused that situation to occur but God I know you are the healer of hearts and I know that these people who have strayed from the flock or who never even made it to the flock yet I know that you are our ultimate shepherd that you love us beyond anything we can imagine and your heart aches even more than mine for those lost sheep God I just pray that their path back to you will be made clear. I pray that if I play a part in any of that, that you will make it clear what you need me to do because I want them to be back with you. For everyone listening right now, God, I just pray that if they're playing a part in somebody's life to help lead them to you or help lead them back to you again in that relationship, that you will just make that, that event, those words, uh, their paths crossing, whatever it is, I just, I just pray that you make it successful and that we do what you need us to do. God, I just love you so much. Thank you for being my king. In your son's name, I pray. Amen. <laughs>